What's up, what it do, how you doing? I am back with another video. Today in E Family, I'm showing you how to make a strawberry crunch cake. Don't go nowhere. So a strawberry crunch cake is a combination of strawberry cake and vanilla cake. Um, with a crunch topping, which I can't wait to show you guys how to make. So we're going to start with the strawberry portion of the cake first. So in my mixer, I have two and a half sticks of room temperature softened butter. To my two and a half sticks of room temperature softened butter, I'm going to add two and a half cups of sugar. So I'm going to put my paddle back down in my mixer and I, we're going to get this mixing for about two minutes. We want our butter and our sugar to be very light and fluffy. So let's go. So our butter and sugar have been beating for about two minutes and we want to go in and make sure that we scrape down the sides of our bowl. So next we're going to add three room temperature eggs. And as always, E&E &E family, if you don't feel comfortable uh, cracking your eggs over the bowl, crack them in a separate bowl so that you can look for any shells or imperfections. So that is three room temperature eggs. Next, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And to that, we're going to add a third cup of room temperature sour cream. So I'm going to get my paddle back down in my mixer and we're going to get these ingredients uh, mixed in with our butter and sugar just until everything's well combined. So for about two minutes. So now it's time to add our dry ingredients and you can definitely use your all purpose flour for this by all means, but I'm using cake flour. So I'm going to add two um, and a half cups of cake flour to our sifter. And when we, once we get all of our dry ingredients added, we'll sift everything together. So that's two and a half cups of cake flour. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder. Next, we're gonna add two teaspoons of salt. I mean, one teaspoon, sorry, of salt, not two. <laughs> And we're going to add a half teaspoon of baking soda. So we're going to get all of these ingredients sifted down into our wet mixture. So the next thing we're going to add to get that strawberry flavor is our strawberry oil. You guys have seen me use these multiple times and several different videos. Um, you could also use... Um, pureed strawberries, you would have to puree them, put them in a strainer um, to get rid of any seeds or pulp before you add them to your mixture. You could also use a package of strawberry jello and incorporate it in here. But I find that the strawberry oils do the trick every time. So I'm adding two bottles of strawberry oil. And the... Last thing we are going to add, well, not the last thing, but the next thing we're going to add is um, a cup of room temperature buttermilk. And I'm going to add that in while my batter is turning here in the mixer. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to add to give it a little pink color, since it is strawberry, is some uh, pink food coloring. Um, I'm going to add a little in. These food colors I get are very pigmented, so it doesn't take a lot. And then I'll see if I need to add any more from there. So next, so our strawberry cake is in our grease pan, waiting to go into the oven. Next, we're going to start with our vanilla cake. And I haven't made a vanilla cake for you guys yet. So this is the first time you're seeing it here. So it's going to start with two sticks of room temperature softened butter. And we're going to add two cups of granulated sugar. So I'm going to get my paddle down in my mixer. And we're going to get this mixed up 
uh, just like we did for our strawberry cake until it's very light and fluffy. So for about two minutes. So our butter and sugar have creamed for about two minutes. And next we're going to add three room temperature eggs. To our three room temperature eggs, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I'm going to get my paddle down in my mixer and we're going to get these ingredients incorporated with our butter and our sugar just until everything is well combined. So for about two minutes. So I forgot an ingredient. <laughs> we also want to add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. It's going to give your cake a whole nother level of moisture. So that's three tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can use canola oil as well. So we're gonna get our vegetable oil combined now. So next we're going to add our dry ingredients. So for this one, we're adding two cups of your all-purpose flour or your cake flour. Next, we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder. And we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. That is all of the dry ingredients we're adding. So we're going to get this sifted down into our mixture. So the last thing we're going to add to our vanilla cake is a cup of room temperature buttermilk. Very simple and easy recipe. So we're going to get our paddle back down in our mixer and get this going and gradually add our buttermilk. So we have our cake pan all greased up. We're just gonna get the batter added, y'all. That's all. And this is what your unbaked strawberry and vanilla cake should look like. So we're gonna bake these in a 330 degree oven until a toothpick in the center comes out clean. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make the crumb, the shortcake topping for our strawberry shortcake cakes. You don't wanna miss this, y'all don't go nowhere. So next, we're gonna make the, um, the crumb topping for our cake. So in my bowl, I have a package of vanilla, uh, the vanilla Oreos, the golden Oreos. Um, and I took all the filling out the center. I put them in a plastic bag and I just crushed them up with my rolling pin. You can use your food processor, but I was afraid I was gonna over process the crackers because you still want them to have like, like that, like a, a good little texture to them. Not big, but a good texture. So next I have a package of strawberry jello. And we're gonna pour that over. I'm not sure how much I need. So I'm gonna, whoop, whoop. Looks like I'll be opening another package. <laughs> TV, y'all, it happens. <laughs> and I'm just gonna mix the strawberry jello up with the Oreos. So I have some melted butter here, and I'm just gonna pour a little in at a time because y'all, I've never made this strawberry crunch topping before, and I don't wanna overdo it. But if you can see, once you start adding that butter, Y'all get the y'all get the picture. Yep. So this is what your crunch topping should look like. Look at that. I I can't wait to put this together for y'all. So next, I'm going to show you how to put this all together. Don't go nowhere. So our cakes have completely cooled, and I just have some buttercream frosting that I whipped up. Um, if you would like the recipe to the buttercream frosting, leave a comment in the comment section of this video, and I'll be more than happy to give you the recipe for the buttercream frosting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some frosting on our vanilla part of the cake first. So I have the frosting in the middle um, on my vanilla layer. So next we're gonna put the strawberry layer on top of our vanilla layer. And let's hope I can do this without messing up the cake, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I got my frosting on there. It does not have to be perfect. So for all you professional cake decorators out there, don't judge my frosting technique. 
<laughs> so next we're going to take our crumb topping, which was the Oreos, the strawberry jello, and a little butter. We're going to get it added on y'all. Just like this. Let's smush it down a little. In part, <laughs> this is basically what your strawberry crunch cake should look like. Um, I didn't have enough to go around the entire perimeter of the cake. So I would suggest, I used one family pack of Oreos. I would suggest possibly using two so that you have enough, depending on how much cake or cupcakes or round cake you have. So, y'all been here before, you already know what's going to happen. When we come back, we're going to get a taste of this amazing homemade strawberry crunch cake. You don't want to miss this. Y'all don't go nowhere. Now, I know that's a thick piece of cake, y'all. But, look at it. I can tell this is going to be so moist. Yep. Let's stop talking. Let's just get a taste of this. Ugh, I'm going to get a taste down here first because I've never made a vanilla cake for you guys. So I was really uh, excited to make that. So let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm I got a little crunch in there. Mmm. That vanilla is amazing. Mm-hmm. Wow. I know what strawberry tastes like. I've made strawberry cake for you guys before. Mm-hmm. But why not? <laughs> mm. Mm hmm Delicious. Let's get some little crunch. Mm. Yummy. Mm. This is delicious, y'all. Mmm. Try this out. Mm. Your friends and family are going to absolutely love, 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 love <laughs> this recipe. As I always tell you, E.E. E. family, I promise you will not be disappointed. And that's it for today, E.E. E. fam. Like, share. Comment on this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. The links are in the description box below. And as always, the NFT family, don't forget to live a little and love a lot. Y'all be easy. <laughs> Try this out. You know I'm still going. Mm. Oh, thank you. Bye, y'all.